Hey guys, it's Dave and Katie with RN RV Chronicles. And we just wanted to take a minute today and put a little video together. Uh, we both have some things kind of heavy on our hearts and we just kind of wanted to talk about some stuff and um, give you just a little bit of an update on what's going on currently with my job and maybe what the future holds for my job. So um, we haven't done very many videos this summer and we do apologize. We've been in Pennsylvania, Northeastern Pennsylvania, nearby our family and friends. So we've kind of been on like home mode kind of. Um, so we just wanted to take this time and just kind of give you a little update to sit down together and just um, talk with you guys about what's been going on. So thanks for watching. Before we get into anything, we want to send um, some prayers to um, Sean's family, uh, Sean O'Connor, and um, his girlfriend, what was her name? Carol. I Carol believe. or something like that. We're going to send some prayers. We just want to send some prayers to her and Sean's family and her family. Um, I know I'm, I'm sure you people have heard. Uh, Road Warrior is his YouTube channel and um, he was killed last week on his um, Vespa scooter mm -hmm. and she was seriously injured so um, guys just keep them in your prayers and um, it was something that is very tragic mm -hmm. um, and we're just gonna pray that somehow God can have something great that can happen out of this yeah. I don't know how um, but God does. So we're just going to pray that, that um, something great happens. Yeah, it's really sad. just really hits home. You know, a fellow traveler living the same lifestyle we are, you know, and we go out on our motorcycle yeah. and they were out on their scooter and, you know, life, they just woke up in the morning and life was normal and then bam, like that, everything that, that changes fast. and it's just scary. And um, that's one of the reasons why we do what we do. Yeah, you know, we decided, and guys, forget us, there's a lot of gnats here. So if you yeah, see us swinging or if they're passing by the lens, we, we're sorry about mm -hmm. that. But anyways, uh, but that's why we do what we do. And we realized, you know, a little over two years ago that life is just so short. Mm -hmm. And we wanted to be able to do something um, that was fulfilling with our lives and meeting people and and talking with people, not just the sightseeing, but the connections that we're making with going out and meeting people all over the country yeah. and encouraging them to live their, their, their dreams. Um, you know, this isn't about us. You know, going through life, we work so hard for stuff. And that's where we I mean, were you, at. you, I mean, and we didn't realize it until it was at the time that we were selling everything that, you know, pretty much everything we had, that we realized that we were busting our butts for stuff. Mm -hmm. And what does it all mean? It doesn't even mean you anything. never see it's just stuff a we accumulate that is just yeah because you never see a U-Haul yeah. following a hearse. You can't take it with you. Yeah. And uh, we finally realized that uh, one memories and two uh, relationships yeah. to us. Uh, are important and that's why we do what we do you know Katie's uh, able to meet one so many different people in, in the areas uh, you know that she um, goes to work in in the different hospitals that she's working in how many friends that she has made and met and the connections with different people uh, that she's actually serving in the hospital and mm -hmm. taking care of them their patients, yeah, my patients you know and it's it's just incredible um, with us also then meeting people on the road and in the parks and you know, people coming in and going, you know, almost on a weekly basis. It's it's just great. Um, you know, per, for a prime example, you know, uh, Ken and Rhonda O'Connor. Mm -hmm. You know, we had a chance to meet them in passing out in uh, Wyoming. Yeah, we were only with them for like one or two nights. Yeah, you know, and we and have a very... We formed this connection that yep, we were just very like... Very good connection. Like only God can do something like that, you know. Yeah. It's just awesome. And, and to be honest, like we didn't even know at the time when we met them, the impact um, that we had on their life until we got to get to connect with them again up here. They actually came to visit us and we uh -huh. put up a little video and um, 
it's just really really awesome you know so life yeah. is just yeah. amazing here come here you never know come here, up here. what you'll come up here say hello yeah, to we everybody have, we have see, little... hey say hello there he is <laughs> this is our sammy he's here with us yeah yeah <laughs> he loves meeting people too he does don't you yeah he yeah he meets me people too all right <laughs> get yeah. down now so oh. but anyways, anyways uh we just wanted to say um yeah you know, we're praying for you um and your family um sean and mm -hmm. caro uh, we're praying for you yeah. and um you know god bless i don't know if you'll ever see this or not but you know god sees you and uh, he's there for you so mm -hmm. anyways yeah. um the other thing that's just been heavy on our hearts too is just um hurricane harvey and all the um everything going on in houston right now it's just a terrible tragedy and i again i can't imagine one morning your life is fine and then the next morning you're flooded out and you lose everything you know and it's yeah. just just craziness that i can't even comprehend um yep. but we know god's hand is at work there and um we just pray for all the survivors and um all the first responders and everybody down there to work um and to help those people in Houston and surrounding yep. areas has just been yep. incredible. So, yep. yeah. So, anyways, past mm -hmm. all the uh, yeah. sad stuff. So much sad stuff. Um, oh. We want to get into some good things now. Mm -hmm. um, one is um, we're going to be extending here just a little bit longer. I, I knew this well, was going to happen when we came here to Pennsylvania. <laughs> I knew it was going to happen. It's really funny because this was supposed to be my shortest assignment. When we originally came in the beginning of May, the contract was only for eight weeks. It was supposed to end July 8th. <laughs> and here we are. It's almost September 1st, and we're still here. Um, but you know what? It, it's been really good for us, I think, to be here. Um, no. I've got to for meet you. up. For her. It wow. has been really good for her. Well, it's been I mean, It's been you good have for to go me with and to deal with some things. It's it's been a, a harder for you. It's been emotional. Yeah. I know. But um but we've been here in Pennsylvania and I got to, you know, just hang out with my family and for me that's been wonderful with all my nieces and nephews and um it's been really fun to catch up with my mom and my dad and my extended family down in Brooklyn. Um, my cousin, I got to be at her engagement party um, and found out she's actually expecting a baby. So just like exciting things um, that I've been a part of. And so we are, as of now though, my last day of work is this coming Tuesday, the 5th of September. Mm -hmm. And I have no idea what's going to happen after that. We did put in for an extension. I'm waiting to hear back from the hospital if they will extend me three more weeks or not. So, because the problem is we're trying to get out to Arizona and um, around the Mesa area where we were last fall. But it's a little bit early for the snowbirds out there. There are just no jobs. Oh, there's just a handful. I shouldn't say no, but there, there's very few jobs that are actually posting right now. So, and some of them that are posted are ridiculously low. Yeah, really low, low. Really low. And we're um, not doing this for the money. Yeah. But we and have the to sad part a is, certain amount to survive. And the sad part <laughs> is, and let's just, let, let's just touch on that really fast, really, really quick. Um, two years ago, uh, the market was not saturated for travel nurses. Um, but everybody wants to be a travel nurse now, and the market has become saturated. And now the pay is going down. So if you're thinking about travel nursing, sorry about shaking the table there. But if you're thinking about travel nursing, um, I would say now's not a good time to get in. Seriously. It's, it's really, yeah, the job it's going availability down. is really, the openings are very, um, a lot less. I've heard from more experienced travelers who've been doing this like 10, 15 years. Like the jobs right now are like, very scarce compared to how they used to be and the pay is a lot lower I'm a lot and we're talking anywhere be between well. five to eight nine hundred dollars a week less yeah but um just 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 real quick i yeah. just i just wanted to put that out there and i'll probably thin Anyways, that down a little bit here can, and there we can go into that more on actually a medical yeah. monday video too which i apologize have not really been happening this summer either we've been on like a home 
mode here and um even though we've been doing some sightseeing we haven't been doing nearly as much as we have in the past that when we're actually traveling um and i don't know we've just been out of out of video yeah. mode so that's one of the reasons why too i said to dave this morning i said let's i feel like doing a video today i just feel like connecting with our youtube family, family yeah. um and just um sharing in some of this grieving that we are feel ourselves doing and um and to help lift each other up too yep so let's go back to arizona we're trying to get yeah. out to arizona so anyway so yeah so that's why i ex trying to extend here maybe until the end of september and then that'll put us in a better position to get out to arizona when the jobs are actually there yeah usually they they pick up around um, october yeah um so we're trying to get out to arizona we may be following a friend heading out west mm -hmm. uh, for a short distance uh and then we're going to continue on get ourselves down into uh arizona and then from that point he'll be coming back around and stopping in i think around what no no October, late mm -hmm. October. Yeah, this is. And seeing yeah. us, and then from there heading on down to Florida. You guys met him maybe once. Briefly in Florida. He's not. A, he wouldn't. He's not. He's not a big well. video buffer. Um, so we're trying. His to get name him is if Gary. We travel with him. We'll try to get him. Yeah. On I knew here. him for years and years and years, and um, we ran into him when we first actually got our RV at mm -hmm. the first campground, and here he was doing this full time, and yep. so we had a chance to connect with him and. Uh, that's how we got down to Florida yep. and uh, the park that we were in down in Florida. So anyways, we're looking at going back to Val Vista Village out in Florida. We already have Arizona. things. Or I'm sorry, out <laughs> in Arizona. We already have it um, booked, you know, booked and, yep. and reserved. Uh, but we're also possibly looking at going down to Grand, Grand Cost, Costa, uh, Grand. Costa Grand. Costa Grand. Costa Grand. <laughs> Halfway between yes, Phoenix <laughs> and Tucson. Somewhere in Arizona. So we're looking at two different places right now because of yeah. the, um, Just depends the hospital. Where so we'll the see what happens. Comes available. Yeah. So, um, and we have a lot of friends up in Val Vista, but you know, mm -hmm. it's, we'll, we'll figure it out. But anyway, so that's kind of what's going on with our yeah. future. What else do we need to talk about? Oh, we're leaving here. You, you guys got to see this. We're, we're, look at look at our new travel mug. <laughs> Is that not the coolest thing? Yeah, look at this. It's it's like. <laughs> It looks like a, a, a camera it. lens. Yeah, but it but it's a coffee coffee, it's coffee cup. cup. It's like really cool, yeah. man. So So yeah, I saw it yeah. online and, and decided to get it. Since funny. Katie is getting into photography <laughs> and so am I and which by the way at some point I am going to be going through a lot of pictures and we're gonna do a what do they call that when you just do a lot of different pictures? Like a collage. Collage. Picture collage. I like yeah. picture collage. You put some music in the background and the picture collages and so anyways. but anyways. So that's about where we're at. Yeah. Um maybe we'll check back in with you guys on Saturday. When are you gonna post this? Post it this week? I'll probably post it tomorrow morning. Post it, okay. Which so will be Thursday. Uh, Thursday morning. We're actually leaving here. We yeah. got another place. Hey, why don't we film that? Maybe we, we can, can do well, some I'll quick try. videos on Saturday. I gotta, I gotta wash the coach. Yeah. I have to wash it before we leave here because we can't wash it at the other campground. But we're going over there to a different campground for, um, for a month. Um, and hopefully this extension. And, and we kind of need to explain that. I mean, we could stay here. Oh yeah. Um. And I'm trying. I'm, I'm gonna be very nice, uh, but it's not. Um, David doesn't like it too much here. It's kind of trashy for his taste. It's not a very nice park. <laughs> it's a beautiful view, and we showed you before. View. Maybe we'll span Absolutely around gorgeous. at the end of this video. But it's beautiful. We're up I mean, on top we're sitting of the hill. here looking out over the. I mean, this is absolutely incredible. But behind us, in the park, <laughs> it's not so pretty. <laughs> so I'm not in so this. Nice. So we found another park that's about the same distance from the hospital yes. and we actually just went over and looked at it and they have a double site, one site available that we can actually fit on and the other side is to, is probably bigger than the part where we're yeah. putting the coach on. Yeah, I mean <laughs> it's like incredible. We're going to be right up along so. the river. Is that the river or a creek there? The well, it's a creek behind. Creek. Okay, so we're gonna have a creek. But right then there's a big us. pond there too, and it's and a really nice park. It's it's nice. So yeah, we're just gonna go there for a couple weeks until the end of the month, and um, yeah, we just thought you know we can move around. You know, just because I'm 
we're stationary for 13 weeks or longer <laughs> in this case you know doesn't mean that we have to stay at the same place for 13 weeks or longer yeah that's the beauty of this lifestyle. Yes. We have the ability to pick up and move anytime we whenever want. we want to. So that's what we're going to kind of take advantage of. All right, guys. I think that's all we got for now. Yeah, thanks for watching. Thank you. Like, subscribe, and share. That's just, I, I love doing it the way the paddy wagon. <laughs> Remember that time we were sitting, he was sitting in the coach yeah. with us, and he goes, like, like subscribe, and, and share. share. We're like, ooh. Hi, Patrick, man. <laughs> Miss you, man. Share. Hey, anyways. Sammy, you want to say goodbye? Come up here. Come up here. Say goodbye. Ready? Ready? Hey. So, like, subscribe, subscribe and share. And share. <laughs> Bye for now. Bye for now.